right guys, uh, back with another build today. We're gonna build a mounting bracket that is gonna hold a camera or phone or whatever you have to a rifle scope. So hopefully we can get videos uh, through the scope and uh, get recordings of our shots. So here's a quick drawing of what I have in mind. It'll basically slide over the eyepiece of the scope and clamp down and it'll just be a simple bracket that will hold the camera in front of the scope. So I'll have to get a measurement of what exactly the eye relief is uh, just so it's not blurry and such. We'll go over some of the materials I'm going to be using. This is, if you remember, um, or if you've seen my carbon collector video, this is the same uh, pipe that I used for that. Uh, just that same table leg, actually. Uh, this is a steel strap that is used for uh, shelving units, but it's very thin, lightweight. This is a little piece of square tubing that I'll use just for some spacing uh, for the camera and just a couple of random nuts and bolts. So I think that's about all we'll need. Here's some felt paper for the phone mount. I'm going to use this and I'll line this with uh, felt paper so it doesn't scratch the phone up. So. I'll go ahead, first thing we'll do is we'll cut about about three quarter inch to an inch off of this and that'll act as the part that will clamp over the eyepiece. So here it is. The bad news is 
this one actually did not work. I, as you can see, this bolt would not go through this one and align correctly. I thought I was gonna be able to bend these straight, but then it wouldn't fit over the eyepiece of the scope. So I built a completely new one um, off camera. Same exact concept and even the same materials. This is the same piece of tubing. This is the same uh, metal uh, steel strap. Uh, I, I changed the design a little bit. I got rid of that steel block that created the spacing right here and welded the, the strap directly to this. And I basically ended up having to uh, just kind of cut this out, which allows me to kind of adjust this a little if I needed to. So anyway, um, live and learn, I guess. But so that's kind of what it looks like. I think it'll work really well. Okay, and so for the part that holds uh, like a phone or whatever, I'm gonna use, be using the same steel strapping and I'm gonna use the channel uh, for what's gonna actually hold the phone. And um, all I'm gonna do, for some reason this camera's not focusing. There we go. I'm just gonna cut 245 uh, or actually I guess a 90 out of here and wrap these two ends up around there and so that's what will hold the phone. Okay, so I got the mount for the phone done. Might be kind of hard to see but the felt is tucked inside of these channels to protect the phone. So basically slides down in there pretty snug. And then you'd have to zoom out or zoom in, whatever, to look through the scope. So anyway, that's a way to pretty easy way to mount a phone uh, for your scope. So today I'm just going to be using the camera to uh, do the shooting. So. All right, out at the range, I uh, got the camera mounted and just got some targets set up, uh, pieces of two by four and such. So we'll shoot and I'll uh, see if we can't uh, get it through the scope. Wasn't recording, awesome. There we go. <laughs> Actually, it works pretty good. <clears throat> Let's see if we can't pop one of these shotgun shells. Oop. Next magazine. There it is. <clears throat> and looks like we got some zoom out a little bit. Water bottle.
There it is. All right. Works pretty good. <laughs> 